everyone, it's Chris with Artifact, and this video is part of a series that I'm doing where we take a look at pieces from my personal collection uh, that I use as design inspiration. These pieces can be vintage apparel, they can be workwear, they can be military, they can be ephemera, they can just be curious oddities, but for whatever reason, I've held on to them and I love them, and uh, I'm going to share them with you. Uh, so let's take a look at today, what I've got to talk about inside this bag right here. So what we have here is an early 80s um, pair of Vans high tops, and it's bittersweet to look at these because um, I used to have a killer uh, dead stock Vans collection um, that just, uh, I mean, it all started when I was a kid. There was a BMX and skate shop um, where I lived, uh, it, it, well, it was in Bellevue, Nebraska, and uh, you could order custom bands there, and uh, it was called Girls Bicycle Shop, and you just flip through these binders of all of these little swatches. You could have everything absolutely custom, and they took forever to get, but it was so worth the wait, and I would order two pairs of shoes at a time. So, you know, as I got older and then I went to college, I was feeling nostalgic about those, uh, those old bands, and so I had circled back to that guy, and I said, hey, um, I would love to buy every pair of Vans that was custom ordered that somebody made a deposit for, but they never picked up. And, uh, and so I filled my, the trunk of my car with all these incredible Vans. Uh, and some of them were so hideous, they were beautiful. You know, where it's like panel here, panel here. And so I held onto these things for a while for, you know, and then at one point I just got to this frame of mind, whereas, I don't know, I just felt like I had too many accumulations. And it, here I am holding all these Vans in these dead stock bands that don't even fit me. They're not even my size. So it pains me to say this, but I sold them. Uh, and a lot of them went to Japan. Um, so I kind of like wavered on that decision. But in the meantime, like I've, I, I'll open tubs and I'll find other bands that maybe I bought at thrift shops or whatever. And this is this pair comes from that. Um, and this they're a curious pair um, in their own right. Uh, for one, uh, if you want to get close here, most of Almost all these vans were made with about like a 10, 10, 10, 10 ounce um, duck canvas. And this is clearly a heavier weight canvas. This is more like a 14 ounce, which is a little bit unusual for the build of this shoe. Uh, and then another thing is on the side stripe here. These were, these were almost always uh, done in like a Naga hide, more of a vinyl. And this one is actually top grain leather. You can see the flesh side of it there. So those are two elements to this shoe. This you know, what would be an ordinary shoe um, that I, I find them to be kind of unusual. Um, and I'd be curious if uh, Pillow Talk would weigh in and kind of add to that conversation. Um, but, you know, as far as the vans go, like they, they everyone knows they outsourced, they started making them in China and, and also in some cases uh, Vietnam for some of their series. And the American build um, is, is definitely missed. Um, like even with the way, um, this vamp and tongue design is, as you look at this, um, like notice on this side where on the inside, it's it's top grain leather and, and like a rough out. So you've got the flesh side on the top. So this isn't just a split suede, which is a much lesser grade of leather. And this just feels so much better on your feet when you're wearing these. Um, and that's, that's, an un, that's just like, it's just those little details um, that kind of got thrown by the wayside. Um, and then inside here, you can tell like it's an early one because the Naga Hide heel patch, it's got that early Vans logo. Um, and, you know, it's got the higher sidewalls. The toe shape of these are just superior to what's being made. Um, yeah, they're just, they're an, they're an iconic classic sneaker. Um, and uh, I should say like I'm wearing Anaheim's right now. These are made in Vietnam. They've got a higher sidewall like these, the old school ones. Um, the build of these is considerably better. Um, but they're still not, they're not on the level of these. Um, and, oh, I should point out these laces, I, these are hideous. These, did, these are not period to the shoe. Um, the, whoever had them threw those in there. But yeah, these, I miss, I hope the people that bought all my killer vans are enjoying them. Um, I never had the heart to wear any of the ones that were in my size. And so who knows, they might be being worn or being stored in a sarcophagus somewhere, <laughs> but, but, uh, Thanks for watching.